Welcome, welcome. Today we are moving on to our next activity, creating 3D objects using our skills in oblique drawing. You're going to be producing an oblique drawing of a simple chair and a simple table. So first off, we're going to start with the chair. To begin with, you need to draw a crate. This should be taller than it is wide to represent the proportions of a chair. Next, you are going to use construction lines to plan a 2D elevation of your chair. This is the view that you would see as if you were looking at the chair side on. What you are then going to do is mark the corners of your object that you will be projecting backwards to create the sides of your object. From each of these points, project a construction line backwards on roughly a 45 degree angle. It is better to extend these lines too far than not far enough. Now outline your front shape using darker outlines. This will help you gain an idea of the edges of your object. Now you are going to start planning where you are going to put the back edges of your object. You will see here that I have started with the bottom right hand corner of my chair. And the point that I have marked is on the angled line that is projected backwards from this corner. Essentially, what we are going to do is copy this shape over using construction lines and then outline the edges that we can see for this view. To get the right placement of the back corner of your object, you will need to draw construction lines up from the bottom left corner and across from the back right corner. Where these cross, this is the point that is the back of your object. Then you can roll up from this point and across to the top right to get a crate at the back of your object. This crate forms the outline of the back edges of your chair. Once you know where all the points are, mark them out, and then you can draw construction lines to connect them. Then you can go back and outline the edges of your object using darker lines. You can use the same method to determine where the back left edges of your chair are. Once you have outlined your object, jump into the shading. Remember to create dark, medium and light shades depending on the direction of your light source. In this example, the top surfaces are facing the light. That's why they're the lightest. If you are like me and you have problems with smudging in your work, try using hairspray to seal your pencil work once you've finished shading. It really helps. Perfect, and that's your completed chair. Now using the same techniques, you will be creating a drawing of a simple table shape. Begin with your crate first. This time you will be creating a crate that is wider than it is tall to represent the proportions of a table. Once you have completed the crate, use construction lines to draw the side view of the table. Then go over the edges using dark outlines. Once you have the outlines of the front shape, we are going to get to work projecting back the edges and creating the back side of the table. So begin by marking the corners that you are going to project backwards from and then draw in your construction lines on a 45 degree angle. Because your table has four individual legs, you will need to draw these each in separately. Begin this by first drawing where the bottom of the leg will be and then projecting these vertical lines up from those points. Once you've drawn in the back right and front legs, you can project your lines across to show where the back left leg will go. You can then draw the vertical lines in up from these base points. Once you've drawn the outlines of the legs, also do the outlines of the top of your table. Then have a go at the shading, remembering your dark, medium and light shades. Make sure these are consistent, or the same, with the shading in your other object.
Great work team! So now take a photo of your drawings and attach this to the assignment in Google Classroom. Nice work!